day 495, still alive, enjoying a day off. Got a decent amount of rest, I think it was about five and a half hours, but got up and felt like I didn't have enough energy for the longer run. I don't say longer run, but the 49 minute run. It was just excuse me, a bad combination of not eating enough calories yesterday. I had the bagel and the two slices of lasagna. And the two slices of lasagna were later in the day, closer to 5.30. And so it just took a while for my body to kind of absorb more nutrients and, <clears throat> and calories. And so even just walking a dog, I felt a little bit weak, like I had already ran. And just decided to take the day off. Still got in 60 push-ups and 40 pull-ups. So that was somewhat nice. Oh, excuse me. And then what else we do today? I had, a, I had a random call from an old friend, and they called. Like, oh, something happened. So I haven't heard this person in like three years. And we just had like a falling out. Like, I think we were both kind of busy at the time. And they were working, I think, two jobs, and then I think even going to school. So we would just chat every once in a while, and they called. And I called them back, missed the call. Five minutes later, they called me back. And then they just said, hey, how are you? I'm like, hey, doing well. How are you? Just at work. And they said, did your wife tell you why I tried to call? And I just paused for a sec. And I just thought, am I going to process this? Did my wife tell me why you're trying to call? So first I was like, well, one, I'm not married unless there's something I don't know. <laughs> and then two, I was just like, okay, this person thinks they called the wrong person. And so I tried to be nice about it. I was like, well, I'm not married. Did you call the right person? And they're just like, whoops. <laughs> I was like, hey, good talking to you. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm like, yeah, thanks, you too. Chat with you later. It's like, okay. Well, hopefully everything's all right. I said, yeah, things are okay. I said, okay, cool. We'll take care. So that was interesting. And then just talked to the boss a little bit about all the hours that got switched over from the jury duty to here. And then there was a small conversation with the, the president of the company. Oh, she was just surprised that I was there. Like, David, are you here now? Are you completely done? Like, yeah, I am done. Everything's done with jury duty. Deliberation's done. We're good to go. <laughs> so they just had asked what had happened. And, and just a brief nutshell, just an overview of what, what had happened. So I told them, like, wow, that is crazy. I'm glad you're out of there. Like, yeah, same, me too. It's nice to just get back to work and not have to use up my own hours for sick time to to cover <laughs> and then uh, came back it was it looked like a storm was rolling in and so I walked the pup real quick and apparently five other four or five other dog owners in the complex thought the same thing and so trying to keep the pup is over here She's over here laying, laying down, and we went out for a little bit of a shorter walk. I thought we'd just do a 15, 20 minute walk. It turned into only about maybe a 10 minute walk. It was just so many of the dog walkers out there, and she just got too excited. And then we came in, we played for a bit, and then got something to eat. Oh, <sighs> Watch the Miss Marvel show. Watch the what's it called? Rise, the Giannis and the Combo. I, I can't say his last name entirely. The, the Milwaukee Bucks guy, Giannis. We watched his little little movie, real life story, and then slowly dozed off. 
then woke up, played with the pup a bit, took her for another walk, came back in, sent out a couple texts, it's gonna be up with my friend in the morning to go run. Same place we met at two weeks ago, so that'll be nice. Hopefully it's not too stormy, but the last couple hours it's the clouds have rolled in. It's a little bit windy, it's been raining on and off, there's already puddles outside. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. It could be flooded where we're going. We might have to go another spot. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I might have to go find another spot to run, but we'll see how it is. As long as it doesn't rain too hard again tonight, we should be fine. That's it for the day. Mental recovery day. Tomorrow could is a potential to run, assuming the weather isn't bad, and that'll put me back on track for at least five to six runs in the week. So that's good. That's good. And I like that. I'm sure Friday will be a little bit more <laughs> back in the same. Of, I feel tired again. Running twice on Thursday, it's going to be tough, but at least I'll have Saturday to recover. Go from there. That's it. Still trying to put stuff away. That's why I still got boxes. I, I feel like the way I have my room now, I like it. It's enough space. I just don't know what to do with the rest of the boxes. Some of them are the DVDs, I mean, not the MDs, DVDs, Blu rays. So if I, I feel like if I put them outside in the closet, they might melt, which I don't want. But I also don't want them cluttering in the room. Then I have paperwork for the dog's documents and some of the old apartment complex stuff. And taxes, so I just want to keep those together. I don't know. I'm slowly picking through it. Hopefully by this weekend I can figure it out. But that's the day. And they're going to call it a night. It's... 11.20 so hopefully you can get in just shy of 6 hours 5 and a half hours and then get to running, go to work go from there so run your life with health and happiness and have a good night